Donald Trump Jr. arrived in India on Tuesday for a week-long trip promoting the family's branded apartment buildings. And the visit by the U.S. president's oldest son has some ethics groups worried. The marketing materials for the new Trump Towers development outside New Delhi, according to the Washington Post, offers prospective buyers the chance to meet Don Jr. face to face. Yeah, so it's a, it's, a, it's a great discussion. Junior is himself here. He wants to understand what is the mindset of the buyers, what is the success of the towers so far in terms of sales revenues, when is the construction starting. So there's a lot of intense discussion which is happening with Trump Jr. himself. One of the developers told the Press Trust of India that Donald Trump Jr. will host the first 100 buyers in the U.S. Watchdog organization, the Center for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, called the offer outrageous. The group told the Washington Post, quote, they are auctioning off the first family in a foreign land. The Trump organization declined to comment. The president, his sons, and the business aren't likely breaking any laws, but they may be violating long-standing ethics rules meant to keep presidents from profiting off their positions. In 2016, then-president-elect Donald Trump faced pressure to divest himself from his brand. My two sons, who are right here, Don and Eric, are going to be running the company. They are going to be running it in a very professional manner. They're not going to de discuss it with me. Past presidents had sold businesses or placed assets in blind trusts. The former head of the Office of Government Ethics called Trump's arrangement, quote, wholly inadequate. The idea of setting up a trust to hold his operating businesses adds nothing to the equation. This is not a blind trust. It's not even close. Don Jr. will not just be pitching glitzy apartments. His week-long tour will also include a speech on foreign relations alongside Indian President Narendra Modi.